This week on Sailing Nanji, we finally leave the city of Sarong and sail west beginning our adventure into the infamous Raja Rampat area, discovering the clearest water and swimming with a massive school of fish. Being land-based for a while, we made the most of the cheap food cooked by someone else. We had now been in Sarong for two weeks whilst we fixed Nanji and collected some long-awaited packages. Finally the time had come to organise, provision and prepare for the next adventure. Loading the tender with as much food as we could, we headed up to Mr Wick's place where he helped us fill our gas bottle. is a little bit different in Indo. We don't have the same fitting, so we have to drain one into the other. <laughs> Crazy. Break dance, Miley. Break dancing. Yeah. It's not the beach bonfire that we're used to having, that's for sure, but uh, the waste management here is very bad and most people just burn their rubbish. Cranking. It's cranking now. Getting a bit hot behind you, hey? Yeah. You can't burn all the plastic bottles, Peter. Now getting rid of these exhaust issues once and for all. We got a stainless one fabricated now, so we shouldn't have any of those issues that we've previously had. It's a little bit bigger and a little bit longer, so I've had to do some mods. <laughs> But we'll get him in and then that's it. No more exhaust issues. So Yosh and I have been thinking about getting a, a crew member on for some time now and uh, we finally taken the plunge. We reached out to our audience on Instagram for a very brief time and uh, we're inundated with people that were wanting to come on board and um, one guy really uh, stood out to us and we're about to have a phone chat with him now but uh, he's available and seems like it uh, might be happening. Inviting our guest aboard, we had a week to travel 60 nautical miles where we had arranged to collect our visitor. With a healthy and well-stocked Nanji, leaving the city of Sarong felt like an achievement. With the sun shining and a gentle breeze, it was time to explore and relax whilst there is just the three of us. We've got 40 miles to sail to our anchorage of Air Barak. There's a uh, man a pass there we want to go diving on, but we appear to have uh, left a, a little bit late, so uh, true Nanji style, we're making things a bit difficult and we'll probably get there in the dark, but it's full moon at the moment, so hopefully it's nice and calm when we arrive and we can use the moonlight to guide us in. Assuming the position. Cut us all round, eh, Miley man? Snuggle in, buddy. a night sailing tonight so we're gonna tuck in behind this little island here and maybe have a swim uh, I think we we've been um, sitting in near the city for a few weeks so uh, we're pretty keen to just get in and amongst the h2o yeah. and get wet and um, yeah maybe have an afternoon swim so we've jumped in the water a few times today and uh, the water looks crystal clear so. you look a bit burnt Benita do I? Yeah, I know. I, I honestly haven't seen sunlight. Yosh has kept me like locked up in the bee berth. Hey. <laughs> Finding a peaceful anchorage for the night, it was lovely to be out of the city and amongst the elements once again. The first night of leaving civilization is always the best. This is like my favourite time when we're out of the city, out cruising in these sneaky little anchorages, waking up, dead calm, pristine, only noises, 
and that of nature and birds and Benita farting in bed. Sipping my coffee and just enjoying the serenity. Ah, oh, the serenity. Setting sails in the morning light, back to sea we go in the calm conditions, continuing our journey to Raja Rampat. Slowly and excitedly, we are getting closer to collecting our new crew member. Gotta scrub the decks. Light weather, light winds, it's going a little bit crazy, so getting a bit bored, I'm gonna do some scrubbing. There's oh, a lot yeah. of scrubbing to do. Kind of sucks always sailing upwind, but it's actually really enjoyable in light weather and smooth seas, sailing upwind. Get that little bit of a lean on, you feel the breeze much more in your hair. Difficult pulling into an anchorage a little bit later in the afternoon. Still got a couple of hours of light, but it's not good direct light looking in the nice flat glassy water, so you can see pretty well sweet FA. Lucky we got old mate that's come out in his little try, he was more just checking out Bonita, I think. But in my Bahasa, we've asked him where to go, and I think we communicated well, so we're just following him into this anchorage and hopefully it's alright. Finding yet another quiet little corner to call home for the night, we dropped the anchor in 10 metres on a sandy mud bottom. With Marley eager to destroy a few coconuts, we headed to land for the last few rays of sunshine. Four dollars in change. Okay. You chew through it so swiftly. We didn't quite make it to the island that we wanted to today. The wind dropped out and um, then we had a current going against us. So we've decided to tuck into this little island here, made up a nice little anchorage. Uh, we had a local guy helping us um, anchor as well. So that was awesome. And we've anchored just in time to watch the sunset, have a little stroll on the beach and um, yeah, enjoy the serenity. I know your pride has a miserable taste, but you best get to swallow it. Getting eaten alive out here, so we're gonna go back to the boat. In again! Oh. Awakening to another calm day in paradise, we hoisted a full main and bit the bullet, deciding to motor the final 15 nautical miles to reach the small island of Air Barak two nights after our expected arrival date. Big stretch, Mali. Oh, it's too early for Mali's, is it? Oh, it's too early for Mali's. Our air intake cover is busted open and the lagging that was put on the exhaust is like creating these little tiny bits of dust particles, fiberglass dust particles that have just gone everywhere in the engine room. Um, so um, I'm just re-stitching this back up again just to protect the motor because it's pretty important. I think the lagging that we got must have been old or something. It, it wasn't as strong as the first one that we had and it, it, just, yeah. it just burnt up and created all this like fiberglass dust which is really bad for you. 
So we got rid of it um, and we'll just run the motor for a short amount of time and because uh, it's going to heat up quite a lot. So, yeah. <sighs> Good job. He's sealed up. He's pretty did, manky, isn't he? Yeah, I did the stitching on the outside so that there's less chance of the cotton falling inside. I need to make a new one, I think. I don't know. Do you buy these? Are these like a thing that you get? No, nah, you're going to make one, kitty. I need to make one. It's, this is really on its last legs. You're going to make everything in Indo. <laughs> well, that's done. Okay. Well done. Now we can motor. He likes it. Yeah. He likes it. Yeah. Uh, there's other dogs that live on this island, so Molly's having like an intense sniffing session, and like you just can't even talk to him or anything. He's just so occupied in his little smell. Oh, and then he's making his own smells. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. This is Marley in his natural habitat. Sniffing. Gotta sniff everything. Sniff everything. Sniff everything! For more Nanji adventures, become a patron, open the treasure chest and check out the weekly feature vids. The small island of Air Barak sits right in the path of the Dampier Strait current, which constantly brings clear water to the area, making the underwater visibility incredible. Hello! Hello! We watched as the local kids played off the jetty. They had a game where they'd throw a metal rod in, dive in to collect it, and swim back up to the surface. How's that? When I'm not looking for one, he comes swimming past. He was pretty cool. They're huge, eh? Whew. He's uh, in a bit of a rush, I think. It was evident that Air Barak is a marine park as soon as we put our faces in the water. Huge schools of fish would gather at the end of the piers with the bigger predatory fish swimming around looking for their target. The pylons had pristine corals and the water clarity was simply stunning.
Next week on Selling Nanji, we continue sailing towards Waisai, exploring the Raja Ampat area underwater on the way. How clear is this water? It's a pretty exciting time for us as we collect our new crew member. I think they want to put us in backwards. That's not something Nancy does. We're about to get our new crew member tomorrow morning. 